Welcome to the Smite tutorial. Your objective is to defeat the Titan in the enemy base. To do this, you will need to destroy the enemy's defenses. In Smite, you control gods and immortals, powerful beings capable of great destruction. Each has its own unique abilities and fighting style. In this tutorial, you will control Neith, the Egyptian weaver of fate. Now, let's practice navigation. Move to the waypoint near your Titan. Use the W, A, S, and D keys to move, and use the mouse to turn. Well done! Your next waypoint is outside of your base near your Phoenix. Move there now. Fantastic! You are now in the lane. Use the mouse to aim, and press the left mouse button to fire Neath's bow. Impressive! Each time you slay an enemy or destroy an objective, you gain experience or XP. Gain enough XP and you will level up, allowing you to unlock abilities. Press F1 to unlock Spirit. Great! Now use the Spirit Arrow ability to attack the minions. Spirit Arrow is a line attack that can strike multiple enemies within its highlighted area. Press 1 to bring up the targeter. With the targeter visible, press the left mouse button to fire. You've taken a lot of damage and need to replenish your health. You can do this by pressing the B key and quickly return to your fountain. Within the fountain, gods will rapidly gain health and restore their mana. Welcome home. Gold can be used to purchase items from your team's item store, but only while you are in your base fountain. Open the item store now by pressing I. This view is your recommended tab and shows items most likely to help you in your role. One of these are great. You can also purchase active items. Active items can be used like abilities, but finally, let's buy a consumable item. Unlike active items, consumable items can only be used once. Select the healing potion. Very good. These items will help you in your battles. You can use this view to search for other active items or consumables. Now that you've collected your equipment, let's explore the jungle. The jungle is a term used for the paths on either side of the lane. While in the jungle, your visibility is reduced, and you can't see the enemies as far away. This is a jungle camp. Jungle camps provide powerful buffs to the gods who defeat them. Your active item, Hand of the Gods, will help you to quickly defeat this camp. Press F to bring up the target of Hand of the Gods. Press left mouse button to fire. When you defeat this camp, collect the buff that drops to the ground. will help you do a lot more damage. You've taken some damage. Press C to use a consumable health potion. Oh dear, it looks like one of your allies, Odin, is rushing the enemy tower. By attacking without support, Odin will surely fail. Be wary around towers, as they will come to the defense of friendly gods attacked under them. It's time to join the fight. Your tower is under attack from enemy minions. Go there now and defeat them. Friendly minions are here to help. Stay behind them so they can take the brunt of the battle. Now, push the fight to the enemy tower. Remember to stay behind your minions so that they take the brunt of the tower's attack. If the tower targets you, fall back out of range. Look out! The enemy god Emir has joined the fight. Enemy gods are a greater threat and are usually controlled by enemy players. You should defeat this god before moving on. Ahead is the enemy Phoenix, which can only be damaged by your basic attack. Once destroyed, all of your minions in this lane will spawn with upgraded weapons and deal more damage. Unlike towers, a Phoenix will eventually respawn. 
Destroy the enemy Phoenix, but remember to- You were almost there. Storm into the enemy base and destroy their Titan to win. You have won your first game. Next, you should try some co-op games against non-player guards, or if truly brave, against other players. <laughs>